Last episode, we caught Implinks for the very first time. We did some crafting. We got a clue scroll, and suddenly we started going for a sapphire necklace. Uh, pause. Hang on. What did we actually do the last episode? Anyway, at some point, we actually said this. I want to save up 40 clue coins to unlock the Falador chunk. We ended the previous video with 13 clue coins. That means we need 27 more to unlock Falador. Welcome to the Clue Chunk UIM, an account where I divided my entire map in chunks and randomized every single chunk with a value from 10 to 50. By doing clue scrolls, I gain clue coins which I can use to buy these chunks. I'm doing all of this on an account that cannot use a bank. Enjoy the video. All right, here we are, right where we left off in the last episode. It is time to use all my iron knives on the goblins and get a shitload of beginner clues so we can unlock Falador and get those steel plate skirts back. All right, um, for the first time in a long time, we are again juggling the most clues we've ever juggled on the account. We finally got three beginner clues we can do. I've been checking Charlie the Tramp steps, but I think I'm going to stop doing that. These two are both Charlie the Tramp, if I'm not mistaken. Wait, no, holy shit, I almost juggled the wrong one. Uh, I might as well try and complete the easy clue steps too, because I gotta juggle four things around it anyway, and otherwise I gotta juggle all four of them back. Here we go. Is it going to be a two-step beginner clue? It is not, and it's a Charlie step, and I've kind of had it with these Charlie steps, I'm not gonna lie. Oh my god, dude, I'm getting dizzy from all these clues on the ground, I'm not even joking. Oh my god, it's a back-to-back -back easy clue step, nice, that's a guaranteed casket, holy shit. Wait, that means we can actually check the Charlie the Tramp step, because we're gonna be in Varrock anyway for this easy clue, hang on. Mine a piece of iron ore, holy shit, doable Charlie step too. There is a beginner clue casket, um, right, we juggle again. For the billionth time today. Preferably we get a casket here. This is step number three. If we don't, then well, it's going to be a full four step easy clue, which wouldn't be too bad. But then again, I'd prefer it to be a three stepper just to be sure. Uh oh. All right. There's going to be a four stepper. I mean, at the end of the day, it's less juggling for me, so I don't really mind. OK, what I'm going to do is now I'm going to try and complete this second beginner clue. Um, I'm hoping for a two stepper. One is a barbarian village step. One is a Charlie step where I need to go to Puro Puro and get a fishing pie so I can boost my fishing to 20 and catch a raw trout for Charlie. Uh, another skill we're going to be able to train, finally, but we do have to go into Puro Puro and get a fishing pie to do it. So uh, we'll do that in just a second. But first, let's complete this first step and the easy clue. I haven't had a one step clue in a very, very long time. So if hunting could hit me up right here, that would be legendary. Or a back to back hunting, you absolute beautiful specimen. That's a guaranteed that guaranteed us another beginner clue casket. This is huge. Oh my god, another back-to-back. -back. I'm keeping the Charlie step that I can do. So we don't have to go into Puro Puro to complete it. It was worth it juggling like six clue stacks. This is going to be the biggest clue opening we've ever done on this account. Two beginners and one easy, man. Huge. That is a guaranteed four clue coins, but if we get any uniques, that's an extra one. Let's see. Steel dagger is horrible. We need a steel plate skirt, preferably. But the beginner clues were awful. Let's check out the easy clue. That is even worse somehow. However, we do leave with 17 clue coins, which is really nice, but I can't lie when I say I did expect a little bit more from those. That is dreadful. I think we might be really close to a new total milestone. Yeah, one more clue until another plus two. All right, what I'm gonna do now is I wanna go to Puro Puro and get that fishing pie, but I really need to clean out my inventory because it looks absolutely disgusting. So I'll probably sell the blood runes to a general store, but for now, I wanna get rid of these emeralds and I need 27 crafting to make them into cut emeralds. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just buy this one sapphire, cut it, sell it back to the gem trader and hop worlds and do that until 27 crafting. There is 27 crafting. That actually went really fast. We're chilling on about 11 and a half K XP per hour, which is not even half bad so let's unnote these emeralds and finally get rid of them it's gonna be really good money too to be selling these emeralds but i'm very glad they are finally out of my inventory so what we're doing now is we're gonna go to puro puro we're gonna passively work towards 50 hunter but at the same time we're gonna be catching a lot of gourmet implings not only for easy clues but also for a fish pie so we can boost our fishing level up to 20 plus so i can do this charlie the tramp step oh we got it nice 
All right, let's get back to the main world. All right, so I want to make use of this fishing pie as much as I possibly can. So I'm going to try and hit this fishing pie on the exact moment when the boost kicks in. So I just drank a beer to see when these levels tick down. And at the very moment that it ticks down, I'm going to eat the fish pie to get the maximum out of it. I know, sweaty. Oh, there it is. No, the spot changed, you fuckers. This is mad XP. Holy shit, this is crazy. Yes! We did it. We are level 20 and we can now forever do this Charlie the uh, Tramp clue step. That's sick. We're gonna get 750 total right here, actually, on this next strength level. Boom, that's 750 total on the clue chunk UIM, baby. This is clue scroll number 90. If we get a unique, this is gonna be a lot of points. Plus two for the 90, plus one for the beginner clue. So we're guaranteed three. I don't want to talk about it. We are, however, on 20 clue coins right now. Halfway to the Falador chunk. Oh my god, I just got a back-to-back -back easy clue. And I still haven't gotten a beginner clue in the last 30 minutes. What's going on? Yes! Doable. Holy shit. Okay, okay. We can do this easy clue now. Wait, I just got a... Huh? I assume that was a two-stepper then. Wait, what was the first step? Oh yeah, the dig at the Alcarid mine. Nice! Two-step easy clue. Okay, let's see if we can also complete this beginner clue. If not, then I was pretty stupid to try and do it. Has to be back to back to be able to complete. I can try. It's gonna waste us so many law runes though to check if this Charlie step, but I mean, it's a three step or I have to check. Can we do this Charlie step to save this beginner clue? <sighs> That's pain. That's pain that not only wasted us two law runes, it also wasted us two beginner clue steps we could do. <sighs> pain, absolute pain. But we do have an easy clue casket without a unique. Damn it, that was a painful streak. 22 clue coins though. Boom, boom, boom. No! I sold my coif and that's a clue item. And I can't buy a coif anywhere else. So now I gotta hope I get a f***ing coif again from an easy clue. Boom! A double wizard hat. We are looking for that steel plate skirt still. Uh, so I'll just be dropping these. Little cameo from Impling only here. Oh shit, Charlotte, I was gonna... I was gonna have a cameo from you in this latest video, I completely forgot. Yeah, you little bitch. You guys have come up with a verdict. Please don't hate me because it was the entire point of the last video, but I am going to be dropping this easy clue. The one we grinded for the entire last episode because I sold my two coifs and I need to do easy clues to get this coif back. It is hindering me to complete more easy clues because I constantly have to keep this one on the floor. So I'm gonna drop it. I'm gonna let it despawn. Please don't hate me. It's for the greater good of the clue coins, all right? 93rd total clue, 79th beginner clue. Four D nothing. 24 clue coins, 16 more until the big Falador and seven more until 20 clue coins from 100 total clues. The 80th beginner clue with only two uniques. Can I get my third finally? I can not. Stay there, Allie. Yes, stay in my chunk. Yeah, don't move out of it, you piece of shit! I'm scared. Yeah, got him. Hey, easy clue casket, let's go. We've got an easy and a beginner clue casket right now. Let's open the beginner. Four, not a unique. Time for the easy. Wow. I mean, I'm not going to complain about Lower Runes, but that is a shit casket. Four more clue scrolls and we're at 100 total clues, which will give us a massive boost in clue coins. Another beginner clue. The log is still looking the exact same. 81 beginner clues, two uniques. This is number 82. Oh, yes. Dude, that's also not an inventory slot. That's amazing. That's so good. That's the best thing I could have possibly gotten together with the shoulder parrot. No inventory slot wasted and a unique baby. Look at this, dude. This is so exciting. 10 more clue coins to go. And we are in Falador. And the Jester Cape era has begun. 48 Hunter. The 50 Hunter for Eclectic Implings to get Oak planks noted for the construction training for easy stash units is very very close now another beginner clue we are absolutely stacking up the clue coins today another unique no more uniques but still beautiful 83 beginner clues done 31 clue coins 98 this is gonna be clue number 99 which means one more clue before a massive bonus in points and before we unlock falador 
we're getting ridiculously close. Let's see if a one-stepper still exists. It actually does! You know what? I'm gonna try and complete this in one go. This could be the insta unlock. This could be the insta 100 clue. Back to back? It's back to back! We actually got Falador! Not even joking. We did it. The 100th clue. But this beginner clue is going to be the second we stacked. And it's going to be number 100. How crazy is that? 20 clue coins. We're going to have to pay a visit to clue coins. Let's open these two beginner clues and get our final clue coins to get into Falador. Something we've been grinding for for quite a while. The one and the two. No new uniques, but two more clue coins. And if we world hop, we should be able to see... The big total clues, which is 100 total clues. We will have 53 clue coins once we get back from clue coins. Yep, there you go. That will be the last time. Uh, what do you mean last time? I've decided I'm going to stop giving you handouts on every clue milestone. What? You, you can't just decide that. Yes, I can. Why? You will do fine on your own now. I'm gonna miss you, man. Maybe we'll meet again someday, but for now, this is goodbye. Oh, one more thing. I love you. Thanks. This is the most amount of clue coins you'll ever see on this account. There we go. The big Fally. With Falador unlocked, there is a new goal that arises. I want to move on to easy clue stash units, because in case you guys forgot, the end game goal of this account is to fill every single stash unit in the game. Easy clue stash units require 27 construction, so the goal now is to get 50 hunter for eclectic implings for noted oak planks. This will be the key to the new stash units. Look how beautiful it looks, man. One day, one day this dragon imp will be mine. That'd be nice for Edgeville teleports when we finally unlock Edgeville. Which, by the way, is the next plan. Mm -mm. Oh, could be the fourth. Yes! Falador is paying itself back again, dude. It's happened every single time on this account, man. Whenever we get a new chunk unlock, it pays itself back in the same episode or in the next one. We do have to be in Falador for this clue, so we cannot do without quickly going into our new chunk. Look at how beautiful it looks. We'll take a closer look it's very soon, but luckily this clue step is within the chunk. Unfortunately, the uh, stash unit here does not, it's not in my chunk. Luckily, we did go for all of the clue steps or four easy clues on the floor is what I mean, because it is a four stepper. So I'm very glad we saved up. A stash unit we'll be able to build very soon. We do need a second golden necklace, though, because there's also a beginner stash unit that requires it. There we go, there's Casket. The total clues don't matter anymore now. 100 total clues, the 16th easy. Here we go. It's a unique! And it's a good one! An Emblem of Magic Tea, that means I can drop this one, actually. Or sell it. Let's go. Another clue from the new chunk that is paying itself back. If it's a casket, we are zooming. It is not. Is it a back-to-back? -back? It's not even a back-to-back, -back, man. There is the casket. Let's get back to Puro Puro. But before we do that, let's open and see if we can get another unique. No, that is one more clue coin, though. Putting us back to 17. I don't know why I said it like that. 13 more and we're already at the next goal. This is going so fast. All right, lost catch. Here it is. Eclectic Implings are going to be unlocked with this catch. 50 Hunter. There is the Eclectic Impling level. Holy crap. That is amazing. That's a lot of XP from Puro Puro. And here is my first Eclectic Impling catch. No, not yet. All right, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to try and complete this two-step easy clue. Chances of me completing are almost zero because it's the lowest amount of steps. Actually, it's 33%. But still, I want to go and fire strike some Ankus while I'm AFKing because I really desperately need law runes. So I want to not juggle easy clues because I'll be on a free-to-play world. So that will be an absolute pain, constantly having to hop to a member's world to juggle my easy clue. That's not an option. So uh, let's try. Maybe we get really lucky. No, we didn't get lucky unless it's a back-to-back. -back. It is not. We got to drop the easy clue, but it was for a good cause because right now I'm going to buy some runes and spend the rest of the day fire striking Ankus to hopefully get a decent law rune stack again because that one's dwindling quick. And especially now with Falador, we're going to need it even more. 
There we go. I got myself 40 law runes now, and I'm absolutely ready to start training construction. I'm going to be catching eclectic implings for noted oak planks. I need 106 of them to get 27 construction for easy glue stash units. So next episode, we're focusing on construction again. But for now, it's time to clean my inventory. I'll see you next week. Peace.